days if you were watching the first video. I had really bad connection back here in Inspire, so I have taken it off the Wi-Fi, so hopefully we can work now. I am Miss Blair with Grand Prairie Public Libraries. This is Maker Mondays, where we get to do fun STEAM things with things you have around your house. So I was going over the list. So we post the list for every Maker Monday on the Saturday before the Monday. So what you need today is a smart cardboard box, plastic container, um, if you have like oats, some kind of box like that will work. Today I'm just going to use a paper towel too because that's what I have in my office. Pin or pencil, scissors, okay, a hole punch is what I'm going to use. Thin stick straws, bamboo skewers, um, I'm using chopsticks to be my axles and we're going to go over what an axle is in just a minute. Spools of thread, bobbin, something round for your wheels. I'm going to be using little cups today for my round wheels. Then you also can use rubber bands, paper clips, tape, glue, anything to kind of stick your parts together. And I actually used paint for my original one, so feel free to also grab markers, crayons, paint, colored pencils, pastels, anything you want to do to really create, like once you're done building your car, you can kind of take it apart again and then paint it and make it really, really fun. All right, so today we have three more vocabulary words. Our first one that I mentioned earlier is an axle. So today this is going to work as our axle. It is a rod, pole, or bar in which the wheel rotates. So my wheel is going to go around my axle. Rotate means to turn around a fixed point. So if I'm gonna rotate, whoo, that was my rotation. If you wanna try it at home, because it's really fun to do. And the last vocabulary word for today is spokes, which are wire rods or bars that connect the center of a wheel to its outer rim. So I'm not gonna be that fancy today, but we could draw some spokes on my car if we wanted to. But there you go, you've got axle, rotate, and spokes today. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. First, I will show you kind of what the end product is going to be for my car. Remember, your car does not have to look like Miss Blair's car. Your car can look like anything. So I obviously did trial and error for my first one. My first holes, they were too high. So then I had to make second holes down here on each side closer to the bottom. And that's going to be for my axle. And I have a second axle that's going to go through. I'm not left-handed. There we go. So already kind of looking like a car. And then I have my four wheels. So I slip them on here close to my car. Whoa. So already with Miss Blair's design, you can be thinking about what you have gathered at your house. So my car rolls. So how could I get it to roll faster, better, more evenly? All right, so my car's not gonna be winning any huge races, but it looks like a car. So that's check mark number one. So we are going to recreate this today. So the first step, we're making my holes in the body of my car. So I'm going to come over here using my hole punch, and I'm going to punch one, and then I remembered it needs to be close to the bottom, so I'm gonna punch two. So I've got two holes, and I should be able to slide so that's even closer to the ground than this one, so that might actually work better for me. I'm going to do the same thing down here. One, woo, one. And then come right here and do two. So that's going to be, the body of my car is already made for me. I'm going to use my Chopsticks as the axle, axles, plural. Very good, very cool. Then the way I made my wheels. I have four cups for four wheels. 
hand. Remember whenever we do stuff with scissors, that isn't just normal cutting out, we get help because even I have cut myself with the scissors, so we wanna be really careful. So I'm gonna take my scissors and cut down the side of the cup until it's almost to the very bottom of my cup, right, like that. I'm going to do that in a couple of places because I found that that's the easiest way of getting my cup cut. And then if I bend it down, it's much easier if I can just cut it that way rather than having to stick my, my scissors in there and do something funky. And then once I've got one cut, I can cut the others. It becomes a lot, a lot easier. I can kind of even it up. Very good. So I've got one wheel, but I don't have a way to get my axle through the wheel. So I am going to use my hole punch and I hole punch my little hole. So it's gonna be perfect and I've got one wheel like so. So I'm gonna do it three more times for my other wheel. So I'll show you again. So we're gonna cut up the cup. And then I bend one layer back so I can cut it nice and easy. And then I can go around the rest of my cup, cutting it. There we go, it's not breaking any. Yay, and then I make a hole in the middle. times. So I'm interested to know what kind of supplies you had at your house that you're using today to make your car. Do you have actual wheels like Lego wheels that you're using? Do you have I don't know, some kind of canister or can that's metal or plastic and it might roll a little bit better than what my car is? Do you have fun, colorful paints that you're gonna paint yours? Is yours shorter than mine? Maybe you used a toilet paper roll rather than a paper towel roll. If it's shorter than mine, I wonder what that does to the speed. And so I'm going to make another hole in this one. And then I've got one more to make. guys to decorate your car. You can write a number, like your favorite number on the side, so it's like a race car, or you can make it a, like a delivery service. I would make mine like an ice cream truck right now. I could really go for some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can, or you, if you want to be like a cool EMT, you can make an ambulance. Ooh, how would you make it a fire truck? That would be so cool if you had like a ladder that you could come up there. You could use more chopsticks to make the ladder. Like, if, like me, I have a bunch of chopsticks um, that we've used in past programs. So that would be really fun. Like a fire truck. What? Maybe they can carve out the middle and then make it like a race car or something. Oh, yeah, Miss Jochi's always in with like the crafts and the arts. Like she takes my things and makes them up here. I love it. Love working with her. All right, so here's my car. So not all my wheels are rolling, so I can play around. So the first time I did this, none of my wheels rolled. And that's when I realized they weren't even touching the table. So I went back in and adjusted the holes that I had made into my car's body. So that is something you can do. That is one way to problem solve and to think and to question. Okay, how would you use rubber bands to make it a better car? How would you use other objects? So I normally have my board of uh, things to think about. So I'm just gonna read them out to you today. Did your car move smoothly? Ms. Blair's car did not move smoothly. Will your car move smoothly? Why or why not? So why is mine not working? Like I know why mine's not working. You can put in the comments why you think mine is not working and I bet you're probably right. 
And then what can you change to make this movement less bumpy? Okay, so what could I do differently to make my car less bumpy, right? Very cool, y'all. Take them um, somewhere, like you can put, stack some books up and you can roll your cars down a hill, see who wins. Decorated, I'd love to see decorated cars in the comments below. That would make my day. I hope you guys are having a blast and I will be back next week for another Maker Monday. Thanks, guys.